Hello there, Jimmy here and welcome back to my art life. For today's episode, I'm going to unbox and review the Delhi watercolor pencils. I have been eyeing these colored pencils for some time now, but wasn't able to get around buying it because I'm a bit skeptical if it really is as good as it seems. It may also be because this brand is not as popular as most common brands and I wouldn't want to waste money on something that will end up in the trash. But today, I'll try it out anyway and who knows, this may be good watercolor pencils and it's just underrated like most unknown brands. So let's try it out together and I really hope this would work out. But if it doesn't, at least now you know. This set does come with a free brush, but just by looking at it, I'm not too happy with it. The bristles look like the kind of bristles used in cleaning brushes and this would definitely not work well as an art brush. So there's one thing to do now, which is to put it where it belongs. All right, now that we got rid of that horrendous brush, let's take a look at the package details and see what are the claims of the Delhi watercolor pencils. The package also lists the colors included in the set and it also includes the names of each color. We'll also check later on if these product claims are true or if it's just a gimmick write up to sell the product, just like most China made products. Now let's get to my favorite part in unboxing, which is the swatching where we will get a feel of how this product really performs. As always, whenever I make a swatch sheet, I use textured paper or heavily textured paper for that matter. And this is to test the coverage of the pencils and how well it would lay out on paper. I'm also putting in about three to four layers to emulate how I would normally use color pencils and also to test how much layers can these color pencils take. Normally, color pencils can take around three to four layers, but it can do more like six to seven layers if the product is of good quality. So far, it looks like these watercolor pencils can take in the four layers I have put in and it seems it can take more, so that's a good thing. Usually, really cheap color pencils can only take in one or two layers and on the third layer, it would start to peel off the paper or it would start to get flaky or cakey, which is not a good thing. This is also because low quality color pencils have so much fillers and additives which makes it very waxy and difficult to use, especially when blending. So far, this Delhi watercolor pencils look promising. The core lead is soft, which I like very much in colored pencils and is easy to work with. It has a little bit of creaminess into it, which in my experience is good for blending, but we'll hold that thought for now. And we'll get to actually try it out later on in the video, so make sure to watch till the end. By the way, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button, or you can use the My Art Life logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe. Alright, so far these colored pencils are doing well, and I kind of like how it feels using it. The soft, creamy core does well in terms of coverage and colors lay out on the paper nicely. Now uh, for the vibrancy, it's a thumbs up for me as well. Uh, I like the strong vivid colors it makes and I'm sure this would look good in the artworks that I'll color using these since I like drawing anime. I'm sure the vibrant colors would stand out beautifully. By the way, before I continue, I just like to give a special mention on the color names. I like the creative and unique way Delhi has named each color and they really took the time to think of playful phrases that best describe each one instead of the usual red, blue, yellow names. I also like that they had the names printed on each pencil, although 
it can be hard to read on some of the pencils that have a lighter color as the names are printed in silver. I also like the color range that they used in the sets with each one totally different from the other and they also threw in unique special colors that I don't normally see on other brands. Now let's get to our water solubility test where we will test how well these pencils work as watercolors. I'll be using a different brush as the free brush that came in with the set is of bad quality and I would never use a brush like that. So what we're looking for here is how fast the pigments would melt when it comes in contact with water and the consistency of the pigments when it gets wet. We'll also check if it can retain its vibrancy after thinning it out with water and spreading it around the paper. I have already brushed several colors as of this time and let me share with you some of my observation. In using the watercolor effect so far, I noticed that it takes a while for the pigment to activate or melt with water and it took me several times of scrubbing before it does and when it does melt, there are still visible pigments that stayed unactivated. In terms of the vibrancy, it does a good job in retaining the vivid colors and it remains like so even if I spread it around. Another thing that I don't like about using the watercolor effect is the texture. As the pigment gets activated by water, it turns into a thick jelly-like consistency which tends to make the brush strokes very streaky. Normally, this happens to cheap pencils because of the large amounts of fillers and additives they put in in manufacturing the lead or the core. With this type of consistency, it's very difficult to move the wet pigment around, especially if you're aiming for a really smooth wash or a gradient as well as with blending. In my experience, this type of thick jelly-like consistency can still work if you use absorbent paper like paper stock or sketch paper. So if you have watercolor pencils and you experience the same thing, you may want to try it out on different types of paper first to find which one will be compatible. Then again, I'd expect for it to work on any kind of paper I use, especially watercolor paper, just like what I'm using now. Although I still see myself using these on my artworks, but only as color pencils. I would think twice before activating the watercolor feature as it may ruin my artwork. Now let's do an opacity test where we'll use black paper and see if the colors would still stand out. I'm only going to use a few basic colors to test this out. So far, I'm happy that these pencils have opacity and it really shows through the black background. Although pure or basic colors tend to have less opacity and is barely visible, while lighter colors tend to stand out more. Luckily, that problem can be remedied by using a white base color before adding the pure color, which helps it with opacity. And as you can see here, it now stands out more and it did not lose its vibrancy. Using paper with more grit or roughness can also help in pulling in more pigments onto the paper. And now for our last segment, let's get to blending. Again, I'll be using a few basic colors and let's see if the colors would melt into each other or if the blended colors will create a vibrant blend. So far, in layering the red and blue over the yellow creates a vibrant orange and green. It doesn't appear muddy or muted, which I really like. So I'll give another thumbs up to that. In blending, the colors don't really melt into each other. So they pretty much stay put. Since that's the case, the best technique to use with these pencils is layering. So don't use heavy pressure on your first layer so that you'll have enough grit on the paper for the second and third layer. You may also need to go back and forth between the first and second color to achieve a smoother blend. A colorless pencil blender can also help in blending and smoothing the strokes for cleaner gradients. Okay, 
And that's it for the Delhi watercolor pencils. And I hope this video was able to help out in giving you an idea of this product before you buy it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day and don't forget to subscribe.